Welcome to Maryland Medicine Frontline News, highlighting faculty, staff, and students who are fighting COVID-19 on the front lines of research and clinical care. Coming up, how stem cell therapy could become an important weapon in the fight. But first, a massive testing program is about to start for more than 28,000 University of Maryland Medical System employees and School of Medicine faculty who work in UMMS facilities. The serology testing is a blood test um, that will then be determined to be positive or negative. And a positive basically means that you have antibody to the SARS-CoV-2 virus or commonly known as COVID-19, which basically means that you have likely had an infection with COVID-19, whether you knew it or not. We do not yet know, based on the available research, whether having antibodies against this virus, in fact, does uh, provide protection against reinfection. It seems to be the case that the data seems to be heading in that direction, that, that people who have antibodies probably have some degree of protection. People with a negative result who are on the front line who are exposed to COVID-19 patients, whether they're in an emergency room, an intensive care unit, a floor, or even some of our employees that may have been exposed in community to other people. Knowing that they are negative will help them realize that what they've been doing to protect themselves and what the hospital has been doing to protect them is working. Employees will get two tests, which will be analyzed in Department of Pathology laboratories. One is a high throughput test on our chemistry analyzers that we already have in the laboratory. And the other is a more um, manual test that we, are, we have developed from a protocol that came from the CDC and NIH to be a confirmatory test to ensure that we're getting the most high quality results out for the employees. We use um, a mass spectrometry. We use chromatography. Um, we use basically um, uh, any technology um, that's, that's uh, necessary to uh, measure the analytes that we're uh, targeting. Dean Reese says UMMS employees and faculty will be able to grant permission for their blood to be used in future research. This is a major research undertaking that will be done under the auspice of the IRB. The principal investigator is Dr. Peter Rock, the professor and chair of the Department of Anesthesiology. Having this kind of information, the blood samples available from consenting patients, individuals, as it were, will allow us to retrospectively analyze the data and be able to assess their status, but at the same time, importantly, be able to make some predictions regarding what the relationship between the presence of antibodies and immunity stands for. The sickest COVID-19 patients often struggle to breathe due to severe lung inflammation exacerbated by cytokine cells. But stem cell therapy could help to slow or stop this cytokine storm. These cells are, have an uncanny ability to respond to the inflammatory cytokines, and they are able to then secrete anti-inflammatory cytokines, and then they are able to respond by producing anti-inflammatory cytokines. In this way, they decrease the, the cytokine storm that is occurring in these patients. The stem cell trial is taking place simultaneously at the University of Maryland Medical Center, the Baltimore Washington Medical Center, and the University of Maryland St. Joseph Medical Center. So here at the University of Maryland, we've actually treated four patients uh, with uh, the mesenchymal stem cells. And we've had some positive readouts and endpoints where three out of the four patients got better so there is some signs or hint that this therapy may work in the most sick of uh, patients. We feel that any therapy like mesenchymal stem cells will most likely be more effective when, when it is early on in the process of the COVID disease. So we feel very strongly that once the patient is showing signs of lung failure, that is when the time to really treat those patients more aggressively with therapeutics like mesenchymal stem cells that may change the, their uh, clinical course. You can stay up to date by visiting the coronavirus update page on the School of Medicine website. Until next week, I'm Larry Roberts for the University of Maryland School of Medicine. <music>